Hey everyone and welcome back to the van build. My name is Milo and Teller is around here somewhere. And as you can probably tell, we have done a lot in the last couple months since we last updated you in van build episode two. And I am super excited to show you all the new things that have been added. And if you have any questions at all about anything that I show you, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to try and answer those questions for you. So let's take a look at what's new. Starting with my two kitchen cabinets, I actually picked these up from a Habitat Restore for $20. I decided to go this route because I'm on a tight budget for this build and a single sheet of cabinetry plywood was $80, <laughs> so I decided to cut costs in this area and buy my cabinets pre-made. And then I just got to work on making them look the way I wanted them to look. I found these butcher block slabs on Facebook Marketplace, cut them to size, and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Next is my sliding door. For this, I used the same pocket door hardware I had in my last build, and I'll link that in the description. Once the door was fitted, I glued on cedar slats to match the walls on the inside. I added some of this leaf trim around the pocket door, and this is the same leaf trim I used in my last build as well. The rest of this trim is for my fridge cabinet to make it look nicer since I just made it out of normal 3 quarter inch plywood and 2x4s. and some of the trim is also for Teller's bedroom entrance. To cover up these walls, I decided to do these fake stone panels. They're made out of PVC, so they weigh basically nothing, but they are textured and raised, so it does have the appearance of real stone from a distance. They're also heat resistant, so it'll work well on the walls behind my oven. I attached these to my walls using liquid nails and a lot of patience.
I cut up the panels to make my own patterns and fill in the little empty spots. Once that was dry, I applied grout in between the stones. This took a really long time, but nothing compared to how long it took to clean each individual stone with a vinegar solution to dehaze the grout. I think all the hard work was worth it though, because after putting the trim pieces on, these walls really came alive and I love the way they look. Once this cabinet was done, I was able to install my fridge and freezer. My fridge is a Bodega R50, which is a 45 liter fridge. The Bodega takes up such little space while also being able to store quite a bit of food, and I love being able to open it up like a normal fridge. The door actually opens from both sides, so with this layout I can access the fridge from the main living area or from the bed. Removing the door is easy too for when it comes time to deep clean. It's wired directly into my 12 volt fuse block, and when the compressor is on, it draws about 50 to 56 watts. I'm going to be talking more about this fridge and my other kitchen appliances in a later video, but if you want more information about this fridge, check my link in the description. The next new addition is my diesel heater. I installed it under my desk so it can double as a footrest. After drilling the hole in the floor, we put a metal heat shield around the hole and sealed everything with fire safe sealant. The diesel tank is accessible from the back doors. I've also been plugging away at my battery box, and it's still very much a work in progress, but we've added in some switches for charging and a few outlets. My last and most recent addition is this shelf above my desk. I went super simple with this and just attached a 4 foot piece of common board to a 2x2 two two bracer. Then I framed out this little cabinet and secured it in place. I decided after the fact that I wanted to paint it green so I made a lot more work for myself, but that's okay, I like the way it turned out. And this is what my build looks like so far. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.